The stock market has closed out a horrendous October, its worst month in 21 years, with a big advance as more investors took chances on stocks, turned into bargains by waves of intense selling. Through October 30th, uh, we were down 18.2% in the month of October, which was the third worst October since 1929. If this had been a full year in which we were down 35%, it would have been the third worst year since 1929, uh, and it was the ninth worst of all months since 1929. The Dow Jones Industrials ended the month down 14.1%. The broader S&P 500 lost 16.9% during October. The market fell victim to investors' anguish over frozen credit markets and what looked like an inevitable recession. Well, I think that this market has been stretched like a rubber band uh, to the point where investors were anticipating that the next Great Depression was around the corner uh, and that we were going to be replicating the Great Crash of 1929. And I think basically because we got third quarter GDP data that came in a little bit better than expected. We got personal income uh, data that was a little better than expected. Uh, and we also saw uh, and heard that J.P. Morgan was willing to reprice some mortgages, about $110 billion worth, that those provided positive catalysts, at least uh, for this past week. Friday's session gave the market its first back-to-back -back advances in more than a month. The Dow finished up 144 points to 9,325. The S&P 500 finished up 15 points at 969. And the Nasdaq Composite finished with a gain.